Well, it's Miles Black from the TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Yeah, Great. Good to see ya. It's always come, good to come back for another season. Job security. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You know, let's keep it real here. You know, obviously, you know, we see uh, Meryl's character pregnant for most of the season, you know, <laughs> and you guys are dealing with this, you know, storyline this year. Uh, uh, how much of a deep dive do you guys do when you know what the storyline of the new season will be involving trafficking? Even though you guys are playing separate, you know, you guys have your own lives, but you're interacting with the characters in, on the show. Mm -hmm. I think intellectually, it's important for us to know what we're trying to um, to offer with this season. I think it's important for us to be intentional about how uh, what we're trying to shed light on, how we're trying to um, bring a more human understanding of just the vast number of black and brown girls who go missing and nobody knows or remembers their name. That part is the most important. But as, as an, an actor, we're not expecting any of that. We're not expecting for this horrible, horrible thing to come into our household like smoke and take it over mm -hmm. and and kill us from the inside out. So um, as as an actor, what you know, the 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 work is to stay present to the moment. Mm -hmm. And and so when it does happen and the breakdown of our family, you know, everyone knows what it, what it, it, it can feel like when when you become um, when something that you that a poisoned into your life can destroy in an entire yeah. know, family unit, yeah. you know, and it, and you know, it's just uh, one of the things that I think was our, cause we don't get all the scripts at once. Okay. So we, we are reading, they, they may give us a little brief overview about what things are about, but as you read the scripts, you, you, you're still creating and creating and creating. So as you're watching it as an audience, just know that we were creating it on the spot as well. You know, we may have had a you know a brief overview about it, but we didn't we couldn't be specific until we had the script, until we sat with each other, until we talked about it. And um that's part of our journey um as actors and as and as artists. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this particular season your characters are dealing with adolescents, you know, and uh being parents, you know, outside right. of last year, you know. How was it this year knowing that like, you know, what's gonna be involved with your characters this year? Wow. Yeah, I, I think the the same thing that, yeah. that Makai was talking about. Yet we're we're not necessarily given privy to everything that they have planned for our characters down the road. Right. But um, you know, as far as the the parent child relationship, um, I think it's a beautiful thing to portray, especially in a black family that has done so much foundational work to come to a a healed place. You know, the, we we haven't been the cleavers right. the entire oh. time we have been we have gone through the depths and done the work to come back so that now the the way that we we um are interacting, interacting. with our daughter interacting with each other mm -hmm. you know there there has been some hard won uh work behind that joy that now this inciting incident comes and, and steals from us mm -hmm. you know it's three seasons in and uh, you're working with different directors different showrunners uh, but as actors, are you still learning while you're still doing the job? You guys have been on different shows, whether it's a movie or another series. You know, do you still continue to learn each time you get a script and you're being uh, directed in a different format than what you've normally done? For sure. I mean, you know, I think it's a... Look, as soon as you think you know everything, it's time to go home, you know. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's not about a destination. It's about a journey. And so the, the, the journey is constant learning. Mm -hmm. Um, there, there is every script, every a person that you work with is going to be a different experience. So you not only learn the, the work, but you learn how to work with. And, and so it's, it's, it's like I said, it's not the destination. It's all about the journey. And each character, um, you yeah. know, brings something, different. something different. Yeah. You bring a different skill set, a different right. physicality, a different vocal, um, anything. Uh, it, but I think the most important thing and the thing that we can bring specificity in our intention is what kind of stories we want to tell. Mm -hmm. you know? For you, Meryl, we obviously, you know, from early on in the, in the season, we you know, How's it wearing the fat suit, being pregnant? <laughs> How's it wearing the pregnancy belly? <laughs> okay. In yeah. the middle My of summer. Words, in the middle of summer. 
<laughs> Let me think about that. In Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. <laughs> a pregnancy belly, eight months pregnant all summer. Let me think about that. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> it was so great. You know, <laughs> and then at the end of the day, obviously, you know, we want the show to continue on more seasons because, you know, you never know what we're going to get. But when it comes to other projects, what goes into saying yes to, you know, when you're not doing a show and you have the options to do, whether it's a play, a movie, or another series, whether it's a miniseries or not, what goes into saying yes? Makai? Um, well, I think there's a lot of factors. Um, one is the material, you know, is, is, is and Merle and I have both been blessed to be able to work with some great material throughout the years mm -hmm. and uh, having had to take jobs just because, you know, we needed some scratch. Um, but it's also working who who the director is, who who the who the other actors are, who, you know, who the writers are, you know, um, it's, it's it, you know, who's distributing it. it it's, it's so many things that uh, come along with it. Um, there's no one thing. Um, you just hope that the synergy of it all comes together and and you make something special. Meryl, I'm back for you. Mm -hmm. um, there are, I think that the, one of the things that I look for in a project is, um, you know, those things that Makai talked about. Who who am I working with? What is on the page? Mm -hmm. Is the character um, something that I feel needs to be elucidated? And if it's, right. you know, even if it's a right. villain, is this a story that needs right. to be talked about? Um, those are things that we have to be intentional about, especially of artists of color, that right. we have to be thoughtful about what we're putting out there and, um, and, and, and then put our put ourselves behind that, you know, really lean into um, stories that are going to move the needle. Yeah. And, and you know, just to add on to that, I was asked not too long ago, um, Makai, do you like to play good guys or bad guys? And I, don't, I said I don't play either one. I play human beings yeah. that have made choices. Or, or are making choices, mm -hmm. you know, and so I don't I don't I don't look at a role of saying, OK, I'm, I'm a bad guy. No, he's a guy that has a motivation that he wants to fulfill. And um, whether you deem it as good or bad, that's up to you. But I'm going to play the human being. Yeah. And that's more interesting to me than anything else. Well said. <clears throat> well, congratulations on season three. I will see, um, since you don't always get the script right away, we want to see right. where it plays out. And let's hope we can talk again season four, wherever you guys are at. Take care. Absolutely. Stay safe. Pleasure. Absolutely. Pleasure. Will Smile from Blacksmith TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Hello. Hello. You know, getting a new season is always never easy, but we're here. Season three, new plot. So how long do you know ahead of time as far as what the synopsis is going to be for season three? And how and, uh, when, and when did you know you're going to bring on Gabrielle coming in for the season? The chef? We knew that season three was going to be about a trafficking story. So in season two, we started to lay the seeds for that. Just tiny breadcrumbs throughout the season to support this being the main storyline in season three that would bring the mystery and the family all together. Mm -hmm. And how much research goes into, obviously, when you're doing trafficking and when people watch the show, they can get they can relate to it because this is what we see, depending where you live at, you know, on TV every now and then. Well, for us, we had um, two consultants, Latoya Jix, who works uh, through an organization specific to the Bay Area called Missy. And then we also use the Polaris Project. Uh, and then I also want to give just sort of a shout out to um, a woman, Tony Rivera, who is a survivor. She's often on Instagram and it's very helpful. Um, she has given lots of interviews. Um, I sort of just compiled for the writers interviews and articles um, written by survivors, um, interviews given by survivors, just so we had context and really could understand what the world and the life is like. Um, so we we consulted with those people and that I think is what really helped us um, write toward the authenticity of the world. Mm -hmm. And then when you think about the, you know, you have several characters on the show, some of them are coming back. How much this goes into the writing in terms of not only structuring out this storyline, but bringing in the characters so that you're just they're not just there, but add to it. Anyone can answer. 
can you rephrase it a little? In terms of like how much goes into the writing when you're at, you know, when you have the other characters on the show, whether you're introducing them or some of them are coming back and balancing their own, their, those lives to interact with the storyline that's taking place for this season. Oh, um, I see. So the the writers usually at the beginning of a season map out story for each of the characters. Mm -hmm. And then as the season goes forward, then we start to see how they all can collide and help or interfere with each other in a way that makes for good drama. So that's that's at the beginning of the season. That process starts and it continues to be worked on every day in the room. <clears throat> Before I let you go, can you talk about bringing on Gabrielle Union to play this role? Uh, we, Apple TV Plus was really supportive of bringing her on and we met with her and because of her life experiences, we felt like she was the perfect choice to play Eva Pierre. And when you see her on camera, bringing the whole story to life, I, I feel like we chose perfectly. Mm -hmm. You guys done well. Season three. Let's hope we get a season four. Keep it going. We're here to support wherever you guys are at. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.